I think it's absolutely valid that we really think about what it is that parents want to know. Um, why do parents want feedback? What is it that they want to understand about their children's day? Um, there's a few parents that are going to tell you what they value about feedback. Listen at least once, if not twice, to what they have to say and try to really think about what is it that parents want from us. Hi everyone, I'm uh, Tom Meridor's mom, also Eitan who graduated from Elephants two years ago. Uh, I just wanted to say that we really appreciate the feedback that we get at the end of the day or during the day via WhatsApp, all the photos uh, posted on Facebook. It really is great to see what they're doing, all the activities, circle time, um, any kind of insight to their day. It's really just wonderful. Um, and to hear, you know, little anecdotes about them during the day. Uh, really, really, really appreciate it. And it gives us a sense of, you know, security that the staff really knows each child and um, they're getting the most out of uh, Rainbow. So. Hello, wonderful Rainbow staff. Um, I love that we get such individualized feedback. Um, I love that you discuss what they enjoyed from the curriculum every day. I think the curriculum at Rainbow is one of my favorite things about the gun, aside from how much the kids are loved. So it's nice to hear what they enjoyed and didn't enjoy. Um, also, um, I'd love to hear, you know, it would be nice to hear who they're playing with, so that it would be nice to kind of try to coordinate play dates, just to hear who are good friends, although I know for Adam who that is. Um, and that's it. I mean, I think you guys do an amazing job at making it seem very personal. Uh, for the bigger kids where we don't get as much feedback because they're already big and they tell us themselves, it'd be nice to maybe every once in a while get something about what they can improve on or we can do at home or what they're doing great and what makes them a shining star. But overall, you make me feel that our kids uh, have very personalized, amazing attention and you're noticing what they're doing and I love that and thank you. It's trench. Uh, to keep um, live at the end of the day and have like no real human contact and don't know what she even if it was, it was uh, quick we used to know about dirty day what she did during the day and uh, at this age they are not really talking so it was easier for me than to speak with her and say ah, I know that you did that today it's not the same like the line, the WhatsApp I receive saying that in general the kids did that, but I, I don't know what exactly Alive did this day. So on one hand, I feel it's a bit cold to to take her um, up from the gun like that without any like specific feedback. Uh, but for sure, like when it was to say me, uh, she did pee pee kaki, so yeah, I can have it on the picture that's on this uh, tape. Hi, Rainbow. Um, why I love and what I love about feedback. So number one, I love the daily feedback messages that we get sent from the manager of the of zebras um, just because it gives me an insight every day into what uh, my daughter Amy ate, what she did, what activities they did, the theme of the week. So I love that. It really keeps you informed and up to date. And what I like about the more detailed weekly feedback, what's up, uh, new messages that we get once a week is that, um, again, it gives me great insights into my child that I wouldn't know in great detail. Um, it tells me who she's playing with socially, which is great because I actually make sure I do play dates with those kids after and outside of gun. Um, and she loves it. And I know who to ask her about. I know, you know, who she wants to hang out with. 
and even other things like what she ate for lunch and what food she loves it seems maybe quite an obvious thing or not such a big deal to say but I had no idea that she loved carrots for example and now it's a great vegetable that I'm giving her most days to eat um, and lastly and you know even starting her potty training which is going really well now that's something that started in gun and thanks to gun telling me and feedback I knew to start to start it at home um, yeah thanks so feedback from uh, Gan. Um, what I would like to know when picking up uh, Dan is um, first if there was something unusual, um, if he was physical with anyone, if anyone was physical with him, uh, did he retaliate if someone was physical with him, who won, how was his day at Gan? I mean was he happy happy joy joy, uh, did he play with other kids? Uh, if so, which? So I'll be able to invite him for a play date. Was he tired, bored, excited, shy? Once you gave me uh, a feedback that he's a bit shy and we really worked on it for quite some time. Uh, was he involved in gun activities? Uh, what did he enjoy doing? Uh, dancing, playing, uh, so no to invest more time in things that he enjoyed there. Um, did he eat? Um, I think that's pretty much. So why feedback is important? Um, I have two kids, Emmanuel in Tigers and Eleni in Elephants. Emmanuel in Tigers, uh, the feedback is critical and actually this is the only way for us to know how Emmanuel's day was um, because he cannot tell us himself. Um, I prefer to have feedback face to face or voice uh, message as recently we started having, which is also a great way. Um, just want to know um, how was his mood, uh, if everything was okay, if there was any problem and of course more of technical uh, things like sleep hours and pee pee kaki etc. Um, for Lenny, uh, so she is four and a half, so she can tell us um, most of things herself. So I do not expect to have um, daily feedback. Um, if needed, we can see the technical uh, items at the clipboard. Uh, but I do expect to have uh, feedback when needed. If there is something happening, um, she was upset or something happened at the gun. Um, so if something happened, only then I would expect to have feedback. So what stood out for you? When you listened to the parents, what was it that you heard them saying they wanted from you? I'll tell you what I heard. I heard that the personal touch is really important, that parents want some kind of contact with real people. Especially, Jen was saying, especially at the end of the day, to have um, some personal contact gives her a sense of being reassured. Um, a common theme throughout what all the parents were saying is that they're interested in individual stories. Um, it doesn't need to be a factual account of things that happen, but they're interested about little stories or little insights um, to what's happened with their, with their child or with their children during the day. Um, the parents want to see that you know their child. That seems to be something that's really important for the parents, that you have some kind of personal knowledge of their um, child. And so think about how you can show your personal knowledge. Another thing that shone through for me was that parents really want to have a relationship with the staff. They really want to, um, as well as having feedback on their children's day, they want to have interaction with the staff and the people that are looking after their child. Um, they're less interested in 
PP and khaki. Um, there was a little bit of interest in what the children were eating. Um, we heard about um, Amy's carrot story. Um, but I think overall, the most overwhelming thing that parents want is an insight to their child's day.